Hey folks, welcome back. Here is our hermit. How can I help? Anything a witcher can do for you? I don't have a problem. Of course How you can do. I help? There's a druid's ring nearby with an ancient statue of the goddess. The place is saturated with the power and attracts dangerous entities. Not surprising. The wild hunt began haunting the ring recently. Its king hopes to lure the souls of the warriors laid in the Kurgans by my hut. I have dealt with the hunt. What would you like me to do? Kill nine phantoms, a hallowed number of the druids. Perhaps the appearance of a witcher will drive off the king of the hunt. As your reward, you may have a book on vampires, ownership of a hut, or a wreath of immortals. I can do that. Remember this. The king of the hunt is a powerful opponent. And no mortal, not even you, can hope to defeat him. I don't so know how about do I that. Fight him? Find Mandrake Root by the Kurgans near my hut. The magic herb will keep the King of the Hunt at bay. Merely light the candle that stands within the ring and sprinkle Mandrake upon the flame. Yeah, that sounds helpful. No, no, don't go to bed. Don't. Mm. Wake up, old man. It's a lot. Who lies beneath the Kurgans I saw before your hermitage? Knights who died serving the lady over the ages. Gavanda defended her honor against the Black Skull Knight. Elavera perished at the foot of her altar fighting a water beast. Boar's tomb is symbolic, for the knight was lost on a holy mission. The last is for Renard, an ordinary innkeeper. Who stopped customers from piercing in the lake? Oh. Who lies beneath the fifth mound? The last stands empty, awaiting a new champion. Who lies beneath the Come on. I... Do you take care of the Kurgans? Indeed. That is how I serve the lady. Her power is strong near the Kurgans. At night, sometimes, you can speak with the ladies' champions. From them, I draw wisdom and knowledge of past times. Fascinating. Who is the Lady of the Lake? I know her to be a goddess. At times, I see her dressed in white, traversing the fields through morning fog, her bare feet stepping lightly over the dewy grass. Do you like her? <laughs> I love her. I believe the Lady is not of this world. Mysteriously, she affects the entire area, safeguarding its people and granting them abundance. Yet her influence is subtle, and she never imposes her power. Intriguing. How can I help? Can I ask you something? What is it? I heard you're an expert on the legend of the Holy Grail. This is going to be a talky video, Holy folks. Grail? I might. Let's talk first. No, but the legend of the Holy Grail has been studied for centuries. It's been interpreted in myriad ways. You must know an abridged version. Say, three theories? There are hundreds. But all right, three. The classic theory, of which I myself am a proponent. The conspiracy theory. And finally, one of the most mysterious. The philosophical or mystical. Which one first? Uh, let's go with the classic. The classic theory. Good choice. The Grail is a cup, a powerful magical object whose meaning cannot be fathomed by even the most powerful sorcerers. This chalice possesses the power to heal all diseases, poisonings, and wounds, and pain will turn into power. One theory. This also is sounding states familiar. That in the hands of a rightful ruler, it can heal entire lands and protect. Where have I heard this story before? Sounds hmm. like Dandelion's ballad only without a love story. All who drink from this miraculous cup are healed, fortified, and enlightened to understand the truth. Go on. Knights have been seeking the Grail for ages, yet none succeeded. Both the noble Lancel and the bold Boars failed. 
I heard even the Grand Master of the Order of the Flaming Rose has shown interest. Any specific instructions associated with this theory? Unfortunately, I know only what I garnered from my books. The conspiracy theory sounds interesting. This was popularized by Bronze Dan and begins with a convoluted theory about the derivation of the word Grail. A few tortuous pages in, we learn the Holy Grail is actually Sangrial, which in the Elder Tongue denotes royal hallowed blood. Hmm. Bronze Dan concludes that the Grail is actually the descendants of the prophet Lemioda. I know I've heard this story before. Where? Hmm. <laughs> Could this be the Da Vinci Code? Go on. These descendants, talented in the ways of magic, were protected by a secret organization before they ultimately mixed their own blood with that of N. Said, the knowledgeable one. The theory goes on to present the tempestuous and twisted fate of Sangrial, but the author gets lost in his arguments often contradicts himself. Generally, it turns into an unholy mess. Enough genealogy and genetics. I sense that's a false trail. Which theory should I present next? Let's go with the philosophical one. The philosophical, mystical one. Mm, uh, the most esoteric. The Grail is a concept, a general understanding of good. The search for the Grail is nothing beyond an ordinary quest for perfection. Interesting. The Grail has no specific form or shape. It differs for each individual. It can be an object, an idea, a discovery. It can also be a search for the truth about oneself. Mm. This theory claims the quest for the Grail to be the goal in itself. The result is of secondary importance. What are you suggesting? I serve the lady and am more insightful than you think. I know you return to the world of the living from death, presumably in search of something, but that is none of my concern. Just remember one thing. What? At the end of your journey, the Grail may prove to be entirely different from what you initially expected it to be. Thank you. Farewell. No, no, wait, wait. We've got more to talk to you about. No, get up. Ah. Oh. Okay, you comfy? Comfy? Okay, get up. How could... Can I... What is... What do you know about the Wild Hunt? It is a group of crazed specters who traverse the heavens searching for souls like themselves. They are susceptible to magic, especially of the ritual kind. Can I ask you something? What is it? What can the Wreath of Immortals do? You might find it useful. Useful for what? Can I ask you something? Uh, what is it? Why does the Lady of the Lake seem skeptical about the search for the Holy Grail? Many fine knights set out seeking the Grail, abandoning their roles as guardians of peace and justice under the guidance of the Fisher King and the Lady of the Lake. Now the Fisher King is muting and the knight's gone. I think the Lady must be very lonely. But she's a goddess. You know not how lonely a goddess. Do you think goddesses cannot be lonely? The gods ultimately created us in their own image. All right. Well, I guess Thank that's you. it. Farewell. All right. So, at least we've got some. Hunting the Wild Hunt. Actually, I should cut the video off here, folks. As always, thank you very much for watching, and please tune into the next episode of The Witcher. Thanks for watching, folks. It is much appreciated.